Being what the news is today, you probably haven't heard about the story that's going on at a small uh, college in Kentucky. And it's uh, Ashbury University in Wilmore, Kentucky. There's a revival going on amongst the students there. Now, most news outlets aren't reporting this, but it's happening. And if you haven't heard about it, I want to talk to you today about it in your morning cup of inspiration. See, this, this revival broke out at a normal chapel service that they have. They have chapel a couple, three times a week, and, and a revival service broke out. And what happens was when people were started praising the Lord, revival broke out. And the Holy Spirit just came down. And it's been going on for almost two weeks now. And again, you're not hearing this on the news, which I think is interesting. But, you know, over in Acts 2.17, the Bible says in the last days, God said, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. See, in the last days, Jesus predicted things were going to be happening like pestilence. And as that's over in Matthew 24. He talks about that. And this, this whole pandemic that's gone on with the COVID net, I believe, is all part of what the Bible is talking about there. And what happens with, with the pestilence becomes almost like threefold. It, it brought, it's bringing revival. It's bringing awakening uh, to, the, to people. And it's bringing outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now, the thing that really that I'm so pleased to see is that we're concerned about our young people and how they were affected by the pandemic. Whereas... This shows you that the Holy Spirit is just being outpoured to them that they're still seeking. And this thrills my soul to see this and to, and to hear this. Um, outpouring, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, it points to how much the church needs the Holy Spirit, how much we need the Holy Spirit in our lives. Um, we need it in our inside so we can face the battles that are attacking us on the outside. But God is faithful to his promise. As he said over in Joel 2.28, that I will pour out my flesh on my spirit on all flesh. That the Holy Spirit will be, will be poured out on all flesh, referring to all, all believers, all people who believe in Jesus and have accepted him in their heart. God will pour out his Holy Spirit in abundant measure and overflowing supply. Boy, isn't that nice to know, huh? But that's what the Bible says is going to happen. That's what's happening now in the last days. What's really interesting is that other schools now have started their own revivals and their, in their own religious services um, that's been inspired by the events that has happened over here. And it's happening at um, Lee University in Tennessee, Anderson University in Indiana, and Ohio Christian University near Columbus. They're just among some that have joined this movement. People are flying in from all over the world to be a part of this because they see the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and they see what is happening with the young people and how they're being filled abundantly and how they're being awakened. The, the, the calluses are coming off the eyes. I think that is wonderful. But it's happening, folks. It's happening because we are in the last days and God says he's going to do this and he's doing it. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.